Elon Musk's Advice for Young People Who Want to Be Rich A few days ago, I was going through the comments on our videos, so I read a comment which I suspect was written by a man. He wrote something like, I can't be an entrepreneur because it's too difficult to be an entrepreneur. He went further to state that an average entrepreneur failed about a decade before they succeed. What this commentator forgot to state is that even after failing for one decade, nobody gives you any guarantee that you will be successful as an entrepreneur. The journey of entrepreneurship is similar to that of warfare. If you win, you become a hero but nobody gives you any assurance that you will win. In fact, you are more likely to lose than to win. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you one of the most important advice from Elon Musk. If you are new here, consider subscribing so you won't miss other interesting videos like this. Here's the thing. Elon Musk said, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. If anything is important to you and you know how important it is, you should be able to make any sacrifice for it, even if your life will be at risk. Let me explain this with a personal story. When I was a little guy of about 16, I discovered that more than anything else in the world, I loved freedom. I loved to wake up whenever I want, do whatever I wish and sleep wherever I want. The older I became, the more I desired a life with absolute freedom. I didn't care much about a fast car, a big home or a Rolex watch. I didn't care that much about being famous or becoming the richest man in the world. The number one thing I wanted to achieve with my life was freedom. Freedom to live the way I want, travel to wherever I wish, do the job I like at the time I like to. Then there was a problem. I noticed that almost every adult I knew as a young guy was not free. These people wake up early not because they like to but because they have to resume to a job. These people go to their job not because they love the job but because they have to pay the bills. These people practically have no life of their own because someone dictates everything they do, how they do it and when they do it. Then something became very clear to me. If I was going to have a life that is different from what everyone else has, I would have to make sacrifices no one is making because if you want to achieve what no one has achieved, you must be willing to sacrifice what no one has sacrificed. Most people don't get it. But it's that simple. I decided to be an entrepreneur and I wasted 8 years of my life making mistakes and failing. Yes, it was tough. Yes, it was terrible. Yes, it was hell. But here's the thing. If something is important to your happiness, you should have courage to go for it even if that means a decade of failures or even death. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Average life is not a life I've seen so many people who are trying to take it easy with life. These people are trying to keep their life. They are trying to do what is easy. They are trying to be secured and happy in average living. The problem about this popular strategy is that Average life is not a life. You either live excellently or you don't live. People who desire to live a gentle, easy, average life end with their life without fulfillment or happiness. The reason for this is because fulfillment only comes after you fight and win. The soldiers who run away from the battlefields are not happy soldiers. They are usually ashamed of their cowardice. The truly happy soldiers are those who go to the battlefield, fight with their last blood and win the battle. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. But what if you die? The single reason why most people run away from the battles of their lives is the fear of failing. What if I fail? What if I die? What if I make mistakes? What if this and what if that? I hate to be the carrier of bad news but I have one for you. No matter what you do, you'll make mistakes anyway. No matter what you do, you'll fail anyway. No matter whether you decide to be a fighter or a coward, you'll die anyway and the time you die really doesn't matter. I am worried that many young people are not getting this simple logic. You see, life was designed for adventures. Yes, if you're adventurous, you'll make mistakes, fail or even die. But even if you're not adventurous, 
since life was designed for adventure, the universes will definitely punish you for not being adventurous. When you see people who are poor, unhappy and unfulfilled with their life, it's often because they decided not to fight in a world that was designed for warfare. And don't even think about death because it doesn't exist. What humans have is transition between one world to another. We call it death because we are short-sighted. What matters in life is what we do with it, not how long we stay here. Martin Luther King Jr. died at 39 and Nelson Mandela died at 95, yet they achieved pretty the same thing with their life. When something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Some Important Questions Now, I wish to ask you, what is the most important thing you want to achieve with your life? What is the greatest dream of your life? If you have a single wish you can get God to grant today, what will that wish be? For me, it was freedom and I fought for it with the last blood in my vein. You two have to sit down and identify what that single thing is that you greatly desire. Do you want more time with your family? Do you want wealth, fame or political influence? You want to build a great charity organization or you want to build the biggest orphanage in the world? You want absolute freedom like me or you simply want the career of your dream? You must know what you want and after you know what you want, you must be willing to fight for what you want. Avoid making excuses I've seen a lot of people making excuses. Some think that the government is stopping them, some think that the system has been rigged against them, some think that the rich has taken all the opportunities, some think that it was easier to achieve success some years back and not now. Some even think that they are not lucky. As someone who rose from poverty and sickness, I can tell you that all these are excuses. People simply don't want to fight. People simply give up the fight after a few failures. People simply love their lives more than their goals. You have to love your goal more than your life. Listen to that again and write it down. You have to love your dream more than your life. If anyone asks you to choose between your dream and your life, you must be bold enough to choose your dream because your dream is the only reason why you have to live in the first place. The one thing I wish for everyone watching this video is that you may have the courage to fight for your dream regardless of how difficult it is. Remember the advice of Elon Musk, when something is important enough, you do it even if the odds are not in your favor. Your dream is important, fight for it, fight for it with the last drop of blood in your vein. Thank you so much for watching our videos. Are you between the ages of 15 and 40? Then we invite you to join our new channel which was specially created to share with you inspiration and life's lessons to succeed in life. We call it Under 40 TV. Kindly look at the description box to join the Under 40 TV. We love you.